Then we come to San Lazar, and this was a pilgrimage site dedicated to St. Lazarus, his relics having been moved to Atun in the 10th century. And at this church, we find something very interesting. We find the Last Judgment portal. And again, this is uh, in that arch above the one of the central doorways. Now, this uh, piece had been plastered over and rediscovered in 1837, which is probably why it's been saved. And it's actually quite enormous. It's made up of 29 different stone slabs. Now, surrounding it, and you don't really see it here, but surrounding it above, uh, you see bits of it, are actually the signs of the zodiac. Uh, these are the labors of the months and sign of the zodiac. And this is there for a very specific reason. When you don't have a calendar as such, I mean, there's the concept of a calendar, but not everyone has one. The easiest way to keep track of time is through astrological symbols or astro uh, astrology because that's based on when certain stars and constellations are in certain places in the sky. And you're thinking, well, who cares? Well, you do if you're a farmer. Just think back even this past year in 2017, February of 2017, around February 7th, it was 70 degrees around Wisconsin for a couple of days. Farmers could have gotten excited at that point and thought, hey, maybe I should plant my crops. But as a farmer, that would be a horrible idea because you would ultimately plant your crops and they would die because it got cold again. So using these signs of a zodiac to get across the idea of what you're supposed to be doing is very important in an agricultural society. Moving inward from that, in the center uh, we see judgment in progress. We see Jesus in majesty sitting on the throne of heaven. Surrounding him, we have uh, these images of the evangelists. So this is our basic Christ in majesty image. We're used to seeing this, the mandorla, the halo, the whole nine yards. And this may be based on an apocalyptic commentary by theologians. Now here's where it starts to get different. On the right, sorry, on the left, you see the figures going to heaven. Uh, so we see the virgin enthroned above. Uh, we see angels trumpeting. We see a heavenly city, apostles with the angels, and figures being pulled up from below. Here are the people waiting to go through judgment down below, and here we have figures being pulled up into heaven. On the other hand, uh, as we look at again, if we go to the other side, we see a depiction of, well, the bad place of hell. Uh, we see the weighing of souls happening here with this scale. We see angels and demons. We see the weighing of these souls being manipulated, clearly manipulated by the demon. Uh, you can see him holding on to the souls, holding on to the scale on one side, and the angel trying to pull it down on the other. The bad are being pulled through these jaws of hell, which we see here on the right, uh, by a demon. And here we see an angel of the apocalypse blowing a horn, telling us that this is, in fact, the time of judgment. And then if we go back, the people down below are the ones waiting for judgment. This brings us to another structure, the Abbey Church of Notre Dame. I should point out, Notre Dame is a very common name of a church in France. There are many of them. And it basically means Holy Mary or St. Mary's. And this is the best preserved of the Cistercian monasteries. Now, the Cistercian monks were rivals with the Clunics, and again, shockingly, a reform movement. They also followed Benedictine order. Uh, they will be founded in 1098, and later their figurehead will become St. Bernard of Clairvaux, the same St. Bernard that was pushing for simplification before. 
Bernard had rules and regulations for art and architecture, which we're going to see here. Because as we look at the church, that's the church there. We're in a monastery. And when we go inside, we see this very simple, very short structure. Uh, in fact, we see a very squat uh, sort of image here. And it's very austere, very severe, and very dim. Most of the light is coming from the east. Of course, this is going to be symbolic for them, that the light coming from the east, the direction of Jerusalem. 